You're watching WTV News, live on Wartburg Television. From the Grand Price Studio, breaking news, local coverage, and sports. This is WTV News. Welcome to your WTV News Update. I'm Nicole Lyons. Classes were shortened Monday morning to make room for MLK Day. Service projects were held on and off campus and included postcard mailing, poverty simulation, and blankets of love. Some students used Monday's events as a way to give back to their community. Wartburg students got together in the Chapel Commons to make no-sew fleece blankets for children at Bremwood. The Wartburg College Artist Series will present the hit Broadway musical, Ain't Misbehavin', Tuesday, January 29th. This fast-paced musical honors the black musicians of the 1920s and 30s and the cultural pride that resulted from their creativity. The performance will begin at 7.30 p.m. in Newman Auditorium. Off-campus housing is on the City of Waverly's radar. While the City of Waverly has already has, already has rental housing ordinances in place, students living off-campus could see stronger enforcement. Enforcement of the current City Housing Code would limit the number of unrelated people that could live together in a rental property in Waverly. Available parking, including off-street parking, is a major factor of in off-campus housing discussions. After a public meeting last week, Mayor Brab Bob Brunkhorst spoke to Good Morning Waverly about what this enforcement could mean for students. We know we're a college community and we, you know, we know there's violations. So uh, we can't just have a heavy hand in this. So we, we want to have a, you know, step back and look at what's at the good public policy on this and then uh, work, work towards that. And finally, an interesting story for your sweet tooth. China opened up their first chocolate themed park in Shanghai last Friday. The exhibition covers about 100,000 square feet and almost everything in the theme park is entirely made of chocolate. Visitors can see chocolate sculptors in action, try different flavors of the chocolate, and learn about its history. The park is open until February 28th. Thanks for watching this WTV News Update. Visit www.warburgcircuit.org for your latest campus news and information. For Warburg Television, I'm Nicole Lyons.